Now for the fetch videos, the first thing we do is that we set our playlist IDs. Now the YouTube data API basically has a has an endpoint which takes in a playlist ID and it returns all of the videos for that playlist. The second thing you need is your API key. Then we form the URL using that API key. We create an array of observables using all of the playlist IDs. We basically append the playlist ID to the URL itself and then pass it on to the http.get function. This is going to return our observable that we need and we create an array of the observables. So if there are four playlist IDs, we get four observables and then we use the rxjs fork join operator. So fork join basically it combines multiple observables and when all of them complete, it basically allows us to listen to the results in the subscribe block. So at the end of this function, you can see that we have our video signal ready to be used in the component.